You know, I I tend to stand up for Boogie Cousins more than most. Yeah. I understand when people go crazy sometimes. Yeah. But I can't defend him on this one. Yeah. He was ejected for elbowing Russell Westbrook in the head. Yep. Which you can see right there. Yep. Um, you can look at it from different angles. Some angles looks like it's not intentional. Another one looks like it absolutely is. Yeah, that one. That looks like it's very intentional. Um, but Drew Holiday on the Pelicans said that Boogie did not mean to do it, and so they played very hard and won for him. And here's Drew Holiday. That's the thing we've shown fight all year. Uh, I think a lot of people kind of thought <clears throat> in the beginning of the, the game that it was similar to last game, but um, it's a long game, and obviously when the, the Marcus went out, we didn't think it was that fair. He, he doesn't do anything intentional, but uh, unfortunately, I mean, he came in here, so just wanted to win fan. Yeah. A good, good rally around your teammate, but that was absolutely you know, intentional. Just the word defend. If you have to regularly, quote, defend anybody, they're not worth defending. That's it's a, a really good point. I like that. Listen, I don't want to have to defend Boogie Cousins. Yeah, that's the problem. We always have to defend Boogie Cousins. Doesn't matter if it's a boyfriend, a basketball player, a CEO, a principal, a, a, a Hollywood exec. If you have to regularly defend people, they ain't worth defending. Boogie Cousins is a pain in the arse. Like, again and again and again. I'm done with him. I'm just done defending him. It's Are like, you supporting Russell Westbrook? You no, know, absolutely. Okay. This is a dirty play on Russell. I win, then. So let me just get to this, and, and I'm not here to pick on uh, Russell Westbrook. There are stats that matter and stats that don't. In the NFL, gamblers look at yards per play. In the NFL, they don't care about a lot of stuff. What do you average per play offensively? That's why gamblers like Atlanta. They liked Atlanta last night. They may struggle. They may lose games. They may... Yards per play, Atlanta's still very explosive. So Russell Westbrook this year, there's some stats I don't care about. Okay, he's lost to the Kings, the Nuggets, Utah, New Orleans. I don't care. Oklahoma, uh, Oklahoma City, 7-9. I don't care. His scoring average is down. I don't care. These are the numbers to keep your eye on. His free throw percentage has plummeted. Mello and Paul George are in his head. He was one of the NBA's best free throw shooters. He's now below the league average, 85 to 71. That's mental. Three-point shooting down. Field goal shooting down under 40%. Assists playing with better players down. I don't care that they've lost to bad teams. I don't care they have a losing record. I don't care his points per game are down. When your field goal and your free throw percentage are down, that is that free throw percentage that is mental. What does it tell you? He is struggling with the identity of this offense. He doesn't know what it is. Melo doesn't know what it is. Paul George doesn't know what it is. He's never had to deal with this. He has been a uh, a, a tornado, a, 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 a Tasmanian devil. Like he just goes, take off. He is now thinking too much. Do I give it to Melo? Do I give it to Paul George? Am I being too selfish? Should I pass my? It's all in his head now. That free throw percentage is a troubling sign. I would say to Westbrook, be who you are. It is your team. They came to you. Be aggressive. I don't care about the record. I don't care who they've lost to. I don't care points per game. Free throw percentage, he's thinking too much. That's troubling. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show. Also, be sure to check out more of the best clips from The Herd or go watch a few segments from the newest show on FS1. First Things First with Chris Carter and Nick Wright.